Hi, I'm Abhinav Agarwal. Today I would like to show you guys the fluid motion physical object control. Now, gestural computing and perceptual computing are both taking great leaps ahead with regards to controlling a computer or controlling a virtual screen. And what we wanted to do was take that a step further and say let's bring that to the real world. So controlling real objects, physical objects and motorized objects using perceptual computing and your hand gestures is where people will get the true experience and love for perceptual computing. So here we have a nice setup. This is my computer connected to a perceptual camera. At the same time, this is where we've housed a microcontroller chip uh, which helps the, do all the magic of communicating. So the first demo that we're going to show you is motorized blinds within a conference room. So controlling them using just your simple hand gestures. This is connected just via USB to my computer. So great. So let's go straight in. I, all I do is take my hand in and the minute I do a down gesture, the blinds begin to move down. The minute I do a up gesture, the blinds begin to start moving up. And that's where we've reached that level of capability to work with microcontrollers uh, to give consumers that experience. The minute I push my hand in, you can see that the blinds have stopped. So we've added that level where simple gestures, you walk into a conference room and you get complete control over everything that you do within your conference room environment without touching a single thing. So great. So now we want to move on to real world applications where we thought um, physical control over the camera would really help. One of the scenarios we said was uh, imagine it's a kiosk or any location and the consumer is not putting his hands in the right location or he's very close to the edge. At that time the camera should follow him, right? But that's not possible. Well now it is. So what we've done is we've taken simple applications and we've added uh, our chips, uh, microcontroller uh, chips and our, which controls our motors and which basically allows the user to follow the hand. The camera will then, wherever the user's hand moves, actually follow it in real time, ensuring that his hand is in full frame view for the camera to give a complete gestured experience. So let's go and see a demo of it. So I'm, for example, nicely playing Fruit Ninja using my gestural camera and suddenly I start moving to the left. So camera now in real time is actually automatically adjusting to my change in angle and I can continue playing the game with great ease. The minute I come back to the center, the camera also follows me. So it always moves and ensures that I'm, my hand is in the center of the frame. Now what we allow right now is 180 degrees movement from left to right for the camera. Uh, which really allows the user to stray very wildly off the camera and still be in control. This can be used for tons of other orientations and applications like 3D worlds where you explore 3D uh, using the app and completely explore an augmented reality world as the camera moves along with your hand as well. So that's, uh, that's the motor control, we find it pretty fascinating. How it works is, so this is our microcontroller chip that's there, if you could zoom in uh, over here, uh, which is connected via USB to the computer. This, this chip in real time is getting data for the hand and taking decisions based on that and uh, effectively to the motor here, telling those decisions and moving the gestural camera based on the location of the hand and tracking it in real time. So that you always have a great experience every time you use the perceptual camera. So great, so now we've covered areas like controlling a motorized blinds, having a camera that follows you wherever you go. And we're all TV watchers, right? So we love watching TV. So it would be great if you could have a TV that was gesture controlled. So what we're planning to do and what I'll show you now is a standard LED TV uh, through microcontroller will launch IR signals which will then control your TV. We can also work with standard remotes and, and use that as the base, like uh, take an actual remote and uh, enable it to be gesture controlled or we can take standard models like a Sony TV or a, or a Samsung TV. So great, so let's get started. I, all I need to do is take my hand in. If you observe the LED is red right now. The minute I flick my hand in, the LED has now become green and in a few short seconds you'll see the TV start up and uh, there we go. So the TV's come on and you can start a viewing experience. Currently we don't have any cable on this TV unfortunately 
But once we do, we can definitely show you a lot of interesting things like flicking through channels and, and working on uh, things like volume and stuff. So, you know, once you're done, you just shut the TV and you're good to go. So what we're going to show you now is a quadcopter that is completely gesture controlled. Now that's something like nothing other that you would have seen before. So we've moved from controlling physical objects like your motorized blinds to controlling your own television to have the camera follow you wherever you go. And now we'll actually fly something with our hand gestures. So what we've done here is basically the inputs go into the camera with a software that wirelessly communicates to the quadcopter in real time and pass it on the commands that my hands are telling it to do. So we have the right hand which is used in this case, uh, it pans left, pans right, up, down, forward, inwards, giving us all the six axes of control, making flight a much more intuitive experience than it would generally be had you have to use a mouse and keyboard or even a touch screen for that matter. So what you see behind me is an attitude meter. So it basically tells me what direction I'm going to. So when I take my hand left, you'll see, it'll show the relevant angles that I'm pushing while I'm controlling the copter. So you'll actually see my gestures in real time getting inputted to the system via this and the copter flying along. So let's go and check it out. We've explored the entire world of controlling various hardware devices with the hand gestures. We've done a television where you can flick it on. We've done motorized blinds. We've gone through a quadcopter that's completely gesture controlled. But these are all objects that you have to provide gestures for. What if devices were so smart that they could actually replicate your hand movements in real time and follow them to the T? And that's where we feel we've done that innovation to that next level. So what I have here is a robotic arm with certain motors attached to it. And what it's gonna do is gonna using the perceptual camera, track my hand and in real time replicate my hand movements. So as if this robotic arm was a real extension of me. We've all seen the movie Real Steel where they have robots and people fighting and the robots are replicating the people. This is just one step far away going in that direction. So let's get straight to it. All I need to do is take my hand up in a comfortable position and we can then go ahead. Let me just activate it and there, so we're good to go. So I'll start by a simple wrist movement where I can take my hand down, I can take my hand up uh, and the wrist is moving. If you go on and you see me squeezing my hand and move it in that direction. Now going upwards, uh, let me just go, I can also move sideways. So with this ability I can go ahead and move sideways. So let's do something fun. Let me just go ahead and pick this object up. So take my hand down, I take it up and I've picked this object up. All I need to do is move it to the side and I can drop it. So let me go ahead and release it over there. So you see the level of control that I've achieved which would what have been possible had I used a regular remote control where there would be eight levels of buttons. I wouldn't understand what's happening. But here, when I want the wrist to move down, all I do is move my real wrist down. And that's how simple we've made it and intuitive. So this is just one step into an entire industry where robots are controlled with human beings, whether it be in factories, in nuclear power plants, where users can't hold the objects themselves, but now they can intuitively interact with them. So we've gone through a host of items, you know, right from the quadcopter where we controlled it with our hands, to a robotic arm that actually replicated my real hand. Uh, we did this little baby which was uh, following my hand ensuring whenever I went out of sight, the camera would automatically adjust its angle in real time towards where my hand was. We had this little chip controller which did control your TV and any other IR items, so infrared items in a line of sight environment. Whereas this one was for radio waves controlling uh, any non-line of sight radio communication like your motorized blinds and other things. 
you know, and looking at all of these devices, I can truly say that we've actually built the body as a universal remote for the world. So controlling anything and everything without the touch of a button and just a flick of a hand. We'd love to have you guys over at, at Intel over globally and from India to have a look at the stuff that we've done, try the items out in our office, uh, right here in Mumbai, India, uh, and just play with it. Unfortunately, we can't ship these items to you because it's not possible, but uh, would love to have your feedback on the same. Everything that we provide, uh, that I've showed you, is available in the EXE, and there are certain controls that you can see uh, and play with. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see the physical aspect of that uh, because you don't have the physical hardware with you, but the rest of it will work out of the box, so you can go ahead and have a look at that. So thanks a lot for your time. Do hope you enjoyed it and we'll keep innovating and keep letting you know about what we've innovated on. So thanks.